What's going on guys, Shadow here, and today we are talking about another Guardian Games weapon in terms of uh, something to grind for, because I'll be damned, uh, the three weapons here, the grenade launcher, the SMG, and now this sky rifle, the Taraxipos, are all worthwhile in their own ways, and today we're talking about the Taraxipos in a PvP way. Now, in PvE, if you guys want to make this work, make it work, but sky rifles still, in my opinion, are not really worth using in most situations uh every now and then you could get a exotic scout rifle that is great for grandmasters a lot of the stasis scout weapon is an intriguing grandmaster weapon but overall legendaries are usually something you don't want to use because they're just not good and i don't think this weapon is any good at anything valuable in pve so with the main focus being pvp let's talk about the archetype of this weapon it is a lightweight frame now i know personally that may draw some people off to others it may be a great thing i just need to mention that because archetypes in pvp do matter to people and i don't want to just cut you blind but before we jump into perks let's talk about how to get this weapon now real quick this is a guardian games weapon so all you gotta do is participate in the game wear your mark uh and get these medallions once you get these medallions you can cash them in and you will get guardian games rewards whether that's the grenade launcher whether that's the smg or whether it's this scout rifle uh it's very easy to attain you should get these like candy and yeah i don't think the grind will be too crazy they truly do give you guys a, a ton of these weapons so should be fine should be easy and relatively quick to grind for or at least grind to get multiple drops but with that being said let's jump into all the perks before we jump into the god rolls because there are two depending on what you want to go for. So here on screen is all the roles. We are going to label this so you guys can follow and we'll be reading this from right to left. Now, all the way to the right is the origin trait for Guardian Games, Classic Contender. This is a solid origin trait. Uh, basically, Final Blows just grants class ability energy. You could also do the Amelon liquid, uh, Amelon fluids to uh, help with reload speed potentially. But besides that, nothing too crazy. Now, over in column four, we have precision instrument a new perk to this weapon kill clip encore focus fury cascade point hatchling and explosive payload over in column three we have eye of the storm and light in action zen moment fourth times a charm moving target keep away and gunshot straight over in column two for magazines we have accurized rounds a pendant mag tactile mag extended mag steady rounds alloy magazine and flared magwell and for your barrels, uh, whatever personal preferences here for you guys and stats you want to get out of. Uh, for me personally, I will always lean towards arrowhead break for some weapons like this. But if you guys want extended barrel for more range, be my guess, whatever fits your boat. Now, for the god roll, we have two of them. And for the most part, they relatively look the same except for the third slot. Arrowhead break and accurized rounds will be the first two for me. Personal preference, arrowhead break for recoil control and accurized rounds for those increases to range because I do think that is important for a lightweight frame. Moving target or zen moment will be a personal preference. Moving target will give you aim assist, which is inherent to the stat of the gun. And it is great. It is a great perk still and uh, has a lot of benefits towards a PVP playstyle. Zen moment is great for just more steady shots. Uh, the reason I throw it in there is because people may want more steady shots and moving target isn't beneficial to them. Whatever your play style is, whatever you're trying to go for, be my guess. But the most important perk to this all, we'll get into details, is precision instrument. This is a very user-friendly damage increase perk that is incredible for PvP. And uh, while it isn't perfect because you'll see what the stats will bring it up here on screen it is workable and very forgiving for just landing shots whether it's precision or body shots so this is via light gg and with some community research we got some information on how this perk works so overall dealing sustained damage increases precision damage and uh sustained damage means any type of damage it's not just body shots it's also headshots as well so weapon hits grants a stack of precision instrument for 1.25 seconds this is 2.1 on bows not really important here maximum is six stats and missing removes all stacks so when it comes to stacks this is how it will work from one to two to three yada 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 4.17% will be the benefit of the first stack. Following that will be 8.33, 12.5, 16.67, 20.85, and then 25% will be the max stack damage. Now, is it realistic to stay at six stacks or even get there? No, you're going to be probably getting around the 12.5 to 16.67 range. If you are landing your shots, maybe, maybe 20% will be usable for you. But that 12.5 to 16.67 will be the range you will be relatively at if you are landing your shots. And even 
a 4.17% increase and an 8.33% increase if you're semi-accurate with your shots is still a noticeable benefit. And with the fact that this does proc with precision hits, yeah, this is a all around forgiving and impactful perk to have in a PVP setting. And with these two guy rolls here, it is a massive, massive buff and uh, feels incredible in a top lightweight frame choice in PVP. But all around, this is practically the god rolls you want easy to get easy to obtain and just remember this is a scout rifle so medium to long range will be your best friend and uh, those smaller close quarter maps pick your engagements wisely maybe bring a shotgun or smg as your secondary whatever it may be but overall this is a solid weapon that i think is a must-have in terms of grinding when it comes to guardian games for this event period leave your thoughts down below on this weapon do you guys like it do you guys hate it what's your god roll because maybe you guys have a different preference or play style leave all that in the comment section below if you guys enjoy this video and found this video informative be sure to drop this video like helps out the video a ton and for more content like this whether it's god rolls build videos discussion videos whatever it may be with destiny 2 or other games on the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell to notify when i do drop more content but i think i said enough in this one hope you guys have a good one challenge here and i'm out